Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make Merida from Brave and she will be in her standing up dress which you can take off and change and whatnot. Um, as my daughter says, she's got very tangly hair and that's going to take a little time to prepare. So we will get started on that first. All they are are simple chains and I'm using um, a red. You're going to put your hook through a single band, wrap it once and twice, and you will slide it onto a single band like that and reclaim the end. You're going to do that 10 times, and that's number one. So, number two, number three, see what I'm doing? Putting it on the end and sliding these onto it. Number four, number five, six, seven, eight, nine and our last one number ten so you've just done a single little chain all right now you need 12 of these and this is number one so I'm going to recommend that you pause the video and do 11 more I have my 11 more sitting here ready for when you catch me up I'm just going to pop them all on the holding hook like that okay so pause the video and get back to me as soon as you've done 12 of these all right and they're going to be her hair once we've done 12 we're going to have our loom in this um, offset configuration columns one and three are going to be slightly lower than column two the arrow is facing towards you. If you don't have an arrow, it's the open part of the peg that's facing towards you. We're going to start with double bands. So you take two bands and you place them over the pegs as if they were one, like that. Okay. Now, before we get to two carried away with what we're doing, each of these is actually going to have some of these slid onto it all right so we're going to use three three of them on this band here and we're going to use two on this band here so what I'm going to do is holding three of them like that from my holding hook making sure that these ones don't fall off the back here I'm going to lift up I'm going to put my thumb on this side of the peg, lift this peg up and I'm going to slide three onto here and replace the band on the peg like that and move those three over to the side okay like that. Sorry I didn't mean to hit the camera at the same time. As I said before, we're going to use two on the one at the top here. So again, lift up one side of it here and I'm holding my thumb on the other so that I don't lose it. And we're going to slide on two of these chains onto that one and replace the double band on that peg and flip them over like this. We'll place our next pair of double bands here and here and we're going to do the same. We're going to put two on this one so I'm keeping a finger on it so I don't lose everything and I'm going to slide two chains onto that set of bands and replace my band. So I have two here, 
three here. I'm going to put three, twist my hook around, <laughs> on this one, this pair of bands here. So slide them on and then replace your bands there. So we have hair all the way around. Now, in the middle here, we are going to put one little chain and it's going to be a very small chain. So we're going to make that separately. Put your hook through a band, a single band, wrap it once and twice. Slide it onto a single band like that and slide it onto one more single band like that. And that is all that we're going to slide onto this particular middle one. Lift it off, keep your finger on, on the other end. Slide that on. Let go of your hook because you're an idiot like me. <laughs> there we go. There. And so that one is just going to be her, I call it a fringe, um, bangs. Okay, crazy bangs just there. Next, we're going to do some face bands. So I'm using a skin tone colour. I'm going to put two. Working in pairs of bands. And you've still got two here, so don't worry about those because they're going on in a second. Do the sideways. Doing a crossover band, so a single band and stretch it across like that. Then another single band, you're going to twist it three times, so once, twice, and three times. Place one side here, where we're going to put the eye, and the other one goes the other side, where we're going to place the eye. These are silicon bands, they have a nice result, but they're quite tricky to work with. Next, I'm going to place eyes. I'm using mini pony beads for eyes, so they're the smaller than the regular pony beads. I'm going to slide them onto the flesh tone band. Okay, you can use a metal threader, you can use floss, you can use a hook, you can manually thread them however you like. And it doesn't have to be beads, you can use bands if you choose, if you don't have any beads. If you're using bands, take a single black band and wrap it around your hook four times and then do the same for another one and then slide them onto a single skin tone band. Split your skin tone band that these beads or bands are on and the top part of it is going to go above that peg there which then makes this act like a crossover band. So with our last two that we have here, we're going to fit one here and one on the other side opposite her eyes. Okay, like that. So there is all her crazy hair. <laughs> We're going to use three bands for her neck. And then we'll do two for shoulders. And two for her chest, like that. I'm going to use... Um, a goldish kind of band but I'm not quite sure I don't know which brand it is but they're not silicon because they're quite stretchy uh, the silicon this is a silicon uh, skin tone and they don't stretch very far these actually are very stretchy which is quite nice um, so I'm going to use two with double banding either side of her shoulders like that for her bodice and then one here in the middle well, when I say one, one pair like that now I'm going to be using a metallic teal 
and they were in the metallic uh, rainbow loom pack that I had and I've I've got three packs of it and I went to find um, the teal in it and there's no teal in there anymore which is a bit of a shame because it's actually quite a nice colour metallic teal so um, yeah that was a shame anyway we're going to have just use I guess a teal so one two three and four and the same on the other side the gold is one two three oops and four and then down the center here the gold is one two I do hate when these sort of curl up like little millipedes <laughs> three I'm gonna run my hook through the inside of it Come here, wiggly worm, and four. I'm going to use skin tone bands for her legs. So one pair, two pair, three pair. And four, and on the other side, oops, that's three. That's going to be a bit thick. One pair, two pair, three pair, and four. I'm going to do a single skin tone crossover band here in the shape of a triangle. And where this one is sort of lonely all by itself, I'm going to lift it up and pop it over that last peg there. So for some crossover bands here, take a single band, figure eight, loop it on itself, and again it's going to go in a triangular shape across there, and another one above it, and one more above that. And then I'm going to use a gold band and it's just a single gold and I'm not going to um, loop it on itself so her waist will be thin but this is for her bust line so we'll leave that there. I'm going to put some shoes on her. I'm going to take a pair of black bands, poke my hook through and wrap once and twice. I'm going to slide those onto a pair of black bands like that. Get another pair of black bands and wrap once and twice. And we're going to be sliding those onto a pair of skin tone bands. Slide the one that you have, which is completely black, take the two closest to the end of your hook and slide them off and onto those skin tone bands. And then we're going to swap sides with our skin tone bands so that I'm on the other side of them move these black bands up over and off and reclaim my bands put them put this particular little foot on the end of this leg like that so that's her little shoe we'll do the same for the other side two black bands wrap once and twice and slide on to two black bands. Oops, two black bands, wrap once, wrap twice, and we will slide on to two skin tone bands. Oops, I can feel one's broken, so I'm going to step back and do that again. I'll rewrap my black bands once and twice. Remove the broken band 
let it happen now and not later. Slide the black bands on and then we'll do the same. Take the two closest up over and onto the flesh tone. Swap sides for the flesh tone. Up and over and reclaim and flip the shoe the other side this time and it will again go on the end of her leg like that. Now we have to build her skirt and obviously she needs her arms as well so we'll, we'll start, um, we'll put her arms on next. So to do the arms we're going to take a single flesh tone band and wrap it once and twice and we're going to slide that onto a pair of flesh tone bands and then one more pair of flesh tone bands that's then going to slide onto two of the blue and then I'm mixing them up a bit I'm doing a blue and a gold and another blue and gold and that will slide on to I'm trying to make sure that the gold goes on the, on the inside that will slide onto her shoulder just here we'll do the same on the other side so that's one two three four five yes five do the same on the other side a single flesh tone wrap it snap it <laughs> Wrap it once and twice. That goes on to a pair of flesh tone. One more pair of flesh tone. And it goes a pair of blue. and make sure that they're not tangled on top of each other. Reclaim the end of your bands. I'm going to do a blue and a gold. I'm trying to keep the gold on the inside. Another blue and gold. And it doesn't matter if it's on the inside or outside but just make sure that it's consistent. and place that on her other shoulder like that so let's have a look at our girl we've got legs we've got crossover bands we've got feet we've got arms we've got hair and eyes I think she's ready for us to loop up so going down to her foot push her foot back grab the two bottom bands and loop them to the peg above I'm actually using silicon um, skin tone bands and I find the silicon very hard to work with they um, they have a lovely result but they don't stretch as far and uh, they're quite a bit thicker I find they break a little easier as I said they do have a nice result gently loop up and as I said if you can't find the metallic teal color um, just pick the one that is closest to what you think her dress looks like So now we're going to dig down and find the two bands for her arms, loop them across to her neck 
and then we loop her throat up her neck. Now we have to dig down and find these three bands and they will be tight. Even more so in my case because they're silicon. Find the top two bands and wiggle across and we have a broken band and you know what that's not too much of a problem because we do at least have three bands on the neck area so I'm not going to replace that um, for me because um, one these are very thick bands being that they're silicon but also we have the insurance of having three bands instead of two there but that is annoying. I do hate broken bands. Okay, the next two. Oh, and another one broke. That's going to be a different story. We'll have no bands on her neck soon. Okay, I will have to replace that one. We can't have her being held together just by one band. That would be a little bit... A little bit optimistic <laughs> okay so to replace these I'm going to put these face ones back I'm going to lift that I'm going to place the two bands that broke there and I'm going to put that one that we've already looped back I'm going to dig my hook down until I can catch, hey, get back on there. So I can catch these two bands. There we go. I caught them on the end of my hook. I'm going to bring them up through the middle and out the back of that peg and loop them in. Okay, we're good. Let's redo these two side face bands. One side. Hopefully yours did not break, so you don't have to go through the trauma of that. <laughs> okay, now with so much hair, it, it looks a bit daunting. It, it's not really. Just grab some hair and keep it out of the way. We're looping these two bottom skin tone bands up. And then we're digging down and finding the bottom two red bands. And loop up. That's all you're doing. And then dig down and find the bottom two red bands and loop to the center. Okay, that's all we're doing. You're not having to fiddle faff around. So dig down, find the bottom two bands and loop up. You can pull the hair out of the way a bit. Dig down, bottom two red bands, loop up and dig down bottom two red bands and loop up. Now the only bit that's going to be a fiddle faff is this one where we have the bangs. I want that to go in between where this band is. So I'm lifting this band up to loop up. They were the bottom ones here. I'm going to splay it out and have that little piece of bang go through the middle of it like that. Now I'm going to take two red bands so that we can tie this off. Dig your hook down, loop the bands on and draw them up through the middle of that peg and round to the back side of it and then take the two closest to you up, off and tighten. She's ready to come off the loom. Gently does it. I use um, a hook to help me especially because I'm using the silicon bands and they're tight they don't have much give in them at all and I don't want any more broken bands thank you very much careful around the neck <laughs> As I said, my flesh tone of the silicon, so I'm going to be careful on the legs as well. I'm 
Okay, so I'm going to stretch her out a bit. Give her a bit of shape. There she is, with her tangly hair. Now with the little loop that I have here, I'm going to try and discreetly hide that under some of <laughs> all of these bands. So grab that little band, if I can, and pull it back under. There we go, like that. Stretch out her face to make sure that the hair bands are all in the right spot and not seeping through her face. Okay, so there's all her crazy hair. Next, we need to do her dress. So I'm doing it on the monster tail and I'm going to start my first row, we have 16 rows to do, is going to be the gold and you take a single band and you do a figure eight. Okay, now the monster tail has eight pegs. If you don't have a monster tail, the easiest way to do this, and I have a tutorial up on YouTube on how to do a skirt without the monster tail and just change the colours. The skirt I did at the time was a Cinderella one. All you need to do is change the colours to whatever princess or, you know, you're, what you're doing at the moment. So we, our first row is gold and I've done a figure eight. If you are using a single loom, pop out the middle column. You're then going to take off the big base plate and you're going to make sure that one part of the open peg is that way with, you know, with your arrow. Take the other one off and flip it around like that. So you have the open peg here but this way you have the open peg there. And all you would do is use eight pegs on this. Now obviously it's going to be a big stretch between here and here. Being one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you just do, where's mine, here it is. This is your single loom and this is your monster tail. Okay, so you just use these eight pegs. So while I'm using these and I'm gonna place blue as my second row here, like this. All you would do is place blue around here as your second row. Push everything down. And then put your third row on. And again, push everything down. You'd do the same. You'd put your third row here. And then when you come to loop, you grab the bottom two, which in this case would be the gold, and you loop them up and over. So it's just the same, but you're only using eight pegs of your loom. Okay? So I'm back to my monster tail. And actually... I didn't want to put a la another layer of blue. I was so busy showing you how to do it on the uh, on the other loom. I stopped. My brain stopped working, <laughs> which happens sometimes. I think it's an age thing. So I want gold, blue, and then gold again. And I'm just going to 
no more twisting, no more figure eights. You just lay them on top. So I go gold, blue, gold, and then all the other rows are going to be blue. And you need 16 of these rows. And this is just row three. Okay, so push these down. And then you're going to take your hook and grab the two bottom bands and pull them up and over. Up and over. Up and over. And just try and make sure that you keep them in order and that they're not too twisted because it makes it easier to find the two bands that you need to pull over. Okay, so that was row three. So then you'd lay your bands for row four. Push them all down, grab the bottom two, and loop them up and over. Now I'm going to ask you to pause your video and you keep doing this until we're at row 16 and we will catch up again when we're both at row 16. So here we are, this is the end of row four. Next we'll do row five. Okay, so pause the video and we'll catch, restart it when we're at row 16. Now, if you've restarted your video, we're both at row 16 and I cheated because I had my other one there. <laughs> so we're going to take the bottom two and loop up and loop up. And loop up. The joy of having uh, a daughter that uh, is trying to loom as well means that if I have something she needs it too and I can snaffle hers when she's at school. <laughs> Alright so I've looped up 16. Now we have four bands left on our peg. We're going to take the bottom two and loop it up so we only have two left on. that. Now the other thing that we want to do is have two bands for her belt and one is going to be one side is going to be um, at the top the other is going to be sort of angled diagonally down her body so I think it might be quite a good idea to sort of loop it in um, up here at the top so that it doesn't um, doesn't go AWOL on us. So I'm just going to hold um, the two brown bands that I'm using and as I take this off I'm going to leave the brown bands on my hook so that I'm collecting um, I'm collecting them in it. Okay so I'm going to take my band off like that but my the brown band as you can see is on that uh, band okay and I'm going to collect all these other bands like that so it's stuck on there sort of um, like a lasso at the moment grabbing two of the blue bands tie them in a knot together like that oops mm -hmm. try not to slingshot yourself place one on the end of the hook and we're going to slide all of these loops onto it and it's a bit tricky when they're um, metallic or jelly but uh, they have a nice look to them but they're slipperier to work with 
Okay, so I'm going to pull that through a bit, like that. And see how that's now stuck in? I'm going to grab the other end of my band, reclaim it, pull one under the other, and then I'm going to pop my hook under this one, and we're going to tie in a knot. Oh my gosh, did you see how good I did that knot? Wow, I'm impressed with myself. <laughs> now, this, these bands, these two, are going to get um, pulled so that they're on a side like that. I want this little loop to be up the top there, though, not hidden under that. Come here. It has to get hidden inside the skirt. So, we want this brown belt to be on the side like this, okay? So what I'm going to do is take another blue band and I'm going to use a fine hook. I'm going to stretch down to where I want the, the belt to be, which is quite low on, on the dress, and I'm going to just stick my hook in like that, okay? So I've got one in, one side in and one side out. I'm going to drag that through like this, so I have the band either side. And I'm going to make sure that my brown bands are in between those. Come here, brown bands. Don't run away. <laughs> so there's one side of the blue and there's the other. And I'm going to tie these in a double knot. So there's my first knot, and here is my second knot, like that, okay? Now we need to stretch out the skirt with the spoon and the brown belt has to go the other side. Make sure these are not tangled on each other look pretty good and we're going to pop her feet under the skirt waistband and stuff her down that spoon as far as you can like that so that she's lying in it like a bed and then pull the spoon gently out her little legs will appear at the bottom here and that's good you want that Adjust the belt to the right angle that you want it. Now this little loop, I'm just going to pop my hook up the inside of her dress, grab that little turquoise loop and pull it inside her dress. Okay, you can't really notice it. Make the dress at the right height that you want it on her waist and then to make her stand up, you're going to push her feet inside her dress. Now her hair, as you can see, is quite heavy. So when she stands up, she's she is going to stand, but she might sort of tilt it a bit. Okay, but there she is. There is Princess Merida. I hope you enjoy making her. I can't wait to see how yours all turn out. Take care.